Hey, man, you know what I just realized? Not just realized, but what I have come to understand. That's a better way to put it. I didn't come to understand that the reason black folks like myself don't want to work for white people, don't want to work for nobody, period, and damn near don't want to work at all, ain't because we're lazy, because I know I'm not. I oh, said, look at what I got on now. I've been to work all day. I stay on the grind with my hands, physically, in the dirt. So I know it ain't no lazy mentality or lazy bone in my body. You dig what I'm saying? But I say all that to say, the reason that we don't want to work is because we don't want to be treated like we're still slaves. Flat out. I had to realize most white people that you may go to work for or work with don't look at you as their equal. So when you start talking about getting equal pay, you think you're crazy. Even when you are the owner of the company that you come to do, you know, work with them for, like say for instance, you got a landscaping business and you come in to do business with a homeowner or a plumbing business, electrical, and you quote a price that's fair and reasonable by any standard. If you're a professional and you're quoting this price, it's fair. You've got proof you've done the work before, so you're more than capable of doing what they're asking you to do. But because that price denotes that you don't think you're a slave and should work for free, they don't want to deal with me. They don't want to deal with you if you look like me. And I think that's fucked up. I think to be in 2021 and still have people out here, the, 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 the gatekeepers, so to speak, who still look at you like your value is worthless to them unless you're coming for free labor. Or something damn near free. They don't even want you to feed your family. So I'm 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 gonna say this to you. All those out here who are gonna see this, and I i know a lot of people gonna chime in on this because <laughs> it's too fat. This shit is set up for us to fail. For men like myself, who look like myself, darker than myself, some lighter than myself, but all consider themselves and know that they are black. This shit is set up for us to fail. For you to get so upset with your situation, with your current financial dilemma, that you got no other choice or you feel your back is so far against the wall, you got to go out there and do some shit that you know could get you 5 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Because as the crime level go up, of course the time level go up, especially for us. This shit is just amazing to me. How in the workforce still to today, 2021, when you got skilled laborers that of color that got impeccable, impeccable workmanship and have to fight to get just a third of what their white counterpart getting just because they're white. Shit is ridiculous. And you asking for solutions, well, so am I. Because if I gave you any and told you what they were nine times out of ten, the shameful part about it is the black women and men would say, I don't know shit that I'm talking about. But ask me for the solution. And, and the crazy part is, now we've bought into this ideology that we aren't worth the pay that we say. That's why we always barter and negotiate with each other when the price comes up. When you ask, when you, when you ask me how much I'm going to charge you to do this job. And I say, well, it's X, Y, Z. And you give me the hardest time about why it should be less. Because all we looking at is what the white man taught us. And that's get that black labor for the cheapest dollar you can. Don't value the workmanship. Don't value the quality of what they did. If you didn't get it for a deal, if you couldn't get him on the cheap or on the cheap, if you couldn't get him for the low, if you had to spend a lot of dough, then it don't matter how nice the job was, you got ripped off. We bought into that now. So we don't even value each other's workmanship unless we can get it for the low. So Willie Lynn syndrome in full effect. No question about it. We are hook, line, and sinker and bought into the whole hype that we're not worth what we say is right as far as a price. That, that if I say to you, for me to come through, do what you're asking me to do, it costs X, Y, Z. 
And this is why, and I itemize it for you so that you know I'm professional on what I'm gonna do because I say I'm gonna do it and then I follow through with it and I put it on paper and you still don't give me a chance. And then you go and you get a white counterpart and I've seen it done so many times. Put him on and give him every dime he asked for without question. And the job may or may not come through okay. But the point being is because he white, we think he right. And because I'm black, you swear up and down, I'm whack. I can't say no more.